Hi Virgo, thank you guys so much for joining me here for another reading. So if you're already acquainted with the channel, you guys know what time it is. We're going to open up with the astral travel messages. If you're new, this is where I connect directly to spirit to anchor down predictions for events that have already unfolded in your life, ones that could currently be occurring. And then we'll see what awaits you on this timeline ahead. Uh, with that being said, this is a very short but quite powerful astral travel for you guys. This was bringing you back to school. So this is about lessons that your soul is uh, basically participating in in this earth school room. And you guys want closure, but you had to embody these new teachings, right? So you guys went in a pool and you didn't want to get your clothing wet. Um, you didn't really like the feeling of being submerged in the pool. And water in the metaphysical realm represents your emotions. So there could be something that you're having to like emotionally feel in order to heal. And this is going to help you when it comes to like literally cleansing yourself, right? And your soul. And this is a desire that you have to release negative emotions and start afresh. But the only way to do that is really to be able to feel them fully and then be able to observe them, right? So you can get to the root cause of what your feelings are trying to indicate to you and really what your feelings want you to pay attention to during this time. And it does require you to really go deep within your mind, right? And um, your mind and emotions are linked. So what are the thoughts that trigger certain emotions, right? And there was also a bear, which represents your spiritual strength, power and growth of the unconscious mind. So I feel like a lot of you are developing um, a more, I would say, like even subconscious, like 12th house elements, like a connection to your spirit guides and even a connection to just the metaphysical and non-physical realms here. I also feel like, again, you're developing a better uh relationship with your higher self right or uh your connection to a higher power in some way and really just your unconscious like wounds you know i feel like you're really tending to that and doing some kind of internal tlc there there was also um a girl on a bed she was doing reading so this is again like a private space where you guys are connecting to your guides with the bedroom 12th house energy and then you had to go up and do uh go to the bathroom so this is uh, basically you guys being assisted by your guides during this time to come to some kind of emotional releasing of what needs to go. This could be belief systems. It could be actual like physical connections that you guys need to release. Maybe it's like the f the uh, way that your feelings connect to certain experiences and having to transmute that and alchemize that into a higher octave, right? And maybe having more gratitude for these experiences and the way that you relate maybe to your past, right? Or your history. Um, and maybe the role that certain people have played in the story of your life. Uh, but that's super significant for you guys. So we are gonna open up with the wisdom of the Oracle message and just see what this is about for you. But yeah, short and sweet, but very uh, powerful, right? Okay, let's go and see what's going on for Virgos. What is this like something for on emotions? What is this? But yeah, I feel like your guides kind of um, took over the reading there. Look at that, like maybe they're helping you bring a sense of balance, right? We have to be fair, which is all about the scales of justice. How funny is that? You know, they're helping you come to some kind of internal balance state first, which is usually through observation of your own thoughts and emotions, right? An air element to gain clarity on the way that you feel, right? Um, and this will help you see more balance and harmony in your external environments as well, especially with the end, right? It all begins with within, right? As within, so without, as above, so below. So yeah, there's definitely something that's going on there. Let's go ahead and take a look at 38 for you guys. 38, uh, let's see, okay. Okay, balance, justice, and need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. So life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go to being again. Life is like a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you're not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts into perfect balance you reap what you sow for every cause there is an effect wondrous things will be revealed now now the relationship message is can you find a way to achieve fairness right now this is a time for listening as well as speaking for understanding as well as asking to be understood there is much to be learned and you will learn it if you remain open and objective weighing options and considering all sides your heart wants to connect to others so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions the best kind of relationship is one in which there is a mutual benefit for each party um, that they feel heard valued and respected 
be fair to all. Now the prosperity message is, now is the time for even exchanges, justice will prevail, and you'll be treating according, treated accordingly. In all your affairs, you will be able to negotiate fair settlements. Mutual gain is a gift and you will see with your partners and colleagues. This is a good time to square your finances, to take stock of how you're compensated for your work. This card signifies balance, justice, negotiation. So remember that all things must be fairly recom recompensed. Uh, keep this as your truth and so it will be. Okay, so uh, yeah, there is something that's going on there for you guys when it comes to restoring balance in your life. There's also about standing up for yourself, right? So that you can make a difference. Um, but doing this through acts of kindness, empathy and courage, right? Doing it from more of an internally balanced place so that you can begin to pretty much make any changes that you need to externally from that harmonious place as well. It's again, a lot of Libra energy and venetian energy there so maybe you're focusing on your values right and what's important to you getting back to basics when it comes to this and i feel like the owl sitting on her head is almost like again you're very wise when it comes to your connection during this time we have sky rides the fate hollow bone teachability and the fools embrace transmuting pain and again i feel like this is really again changing the way that you relate to your past okay in some way here for you virgos the hollow bone teachability is basically about you knowing that you're powerful enough to be humble and just allow the wind of spirit to remove through you during this time and know that whatever is placed in front of you on your path even if this is like the internal journey that you're going on within yourself is there for a reason it is there for you guys to pay attention to you know if your emotions um are kind of bringing certain things to the surface you know honor that and respect that and feel it so that you can begin to you know accept it for what it is and actually release it and of you it's something that you want externally that you're actually able to give yourself maybe it's that sense of like acceptance um maybe it's love you know uh the fates that of which we cannot change non-judgment so again this is almost like not judging yourself for those feelings as well because some of you are almost like oh i thought that this was something that i got over like maybe there's some kind of imbalance that you're feeling within and there's something that you need to be able to observe within yourself right and within your life and why certain things are coming up like have you really healed or are you just distracted um so it's written in the sky that you have a destiny you're being invited to explore certain aspects of your life to you and you alone that does not mean that your path will be easy paved with gold and listed with diamonds nor does it predict that your journey would be treacherous it's just the path of parts that cannot be changed and radically accepted as they are so this is basically about seeing these series of opportunities rather than an obstacle course this is mastering the skill of non-judgment as you open up the power of curiosity right no longer being burdened by yesterday's fears and looking for the uh, potential of the future being brave right it's focusing on uh, an opportunity to meet your fate a choice point where you can expand your influence and capacity for abundance love and purposeful action now it's time to leap into it whether that be a heartfelt connection a call to creativity in your identity in your work or another area of your life uh, with all your heart and soul your success is surely written in the stars in order to bring your destiny to fruition you must jump in to the adventure with both feet and do your part and the fool does just that right he goes through that reset so that he can jump uh, into that new adventure and he's not starting back from scratch he is just starting from experience so he's wiser and wiser each time he goes through those cycles so transmuting pain allowing life to love you right this is knowing that sometimes the pain that you feel in life is unbearable right with those emotions but when we're in it we think that that pain that loss that betrayal will be woven throughout the continuity of our existence we're kept hostage by the way we identify with the pain and what we make it mean if we let it it becomes etched into us like a tattoo no matter where on the spectrum of pain you find yourself now whether it be a mild disappointment or searing loss it's time to make peace with it befriend it rather than resisting or running from it or judging it as bad, unfair, or hostile. Can you see the gift that is here? Surrender to the fool's embrace, allowing the truth to envelop you with love and compassion. What if you could learn something amazing from this? What is truly yours will never pass you by? And uh, something better and more perfect for you is waiting for you elsewhere. This is time to basically come to terms with your loss and be liberated and uh, find that sense of freedom in that inherent loss. Your broken heart might open you up towards a greater sense of humanity and compassion. You know, I get a big like five of cups energy. Like there's something around the corner that you don't see, but remember that the pearl cannot be created without the gritty sand causing discomfort and acting as a catalyst in the oyster, right? This is about radical acceptance that even if an experience doesn't seem like it was good upon the human perspective, right? Limited total perception of the human and the ego uh, from the soul's perspective, right? And, you know, our objective view and not just like falling to the subjective view which again is very limited um 
you can see the good within it. You know, when you look at the higher perspective and the bigger reason and the purpose that it's served in your life, even though it may no longer have a purpose for you. And a lot of you is just a connection to something that you're releasing from your life, right? This is embracing that fool's, you know, that full energy um, and knowing that all is well, right? And all will be well. And there is value within the experience that you can profit off of as soon as you begin to extract uh, the wisdom, right? That came at the expense of that experience, right? The wisdom came at the expense of the experience. So it is something that is very, very valuable if you can find the value in it, right? If you choose to uncover um, all the pain that kind of hides the silver linings, right? And reveal it. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys. We have 10 of wands to be fair. So this is a journey that you guys are committing to, okay? Maybe this is like focusing on passion, um, what roads and commitments that you can make uh, that li literally light you up inside, right? That can get you excited about the future. Uh, roads that you feel like are gonna have a lot of potential for growth, right? Maybe this is about unlocking your full potential and where uh, pain has been holding you back from being able to be open and receptive to those experiences. Hollow bone, is knight of wands. So again, this is really, um, you know, you guys are taking calculated risks as you move into the unknown and knowing that you are powerful enough to be humble and just take orders from the universe during this time like the universe tells you to go it's time to go right um six of swords this could be about a sacrifice okay that you guys are making we have nine of cups with this sky writing so some of you are living in a frame vibrationy okay you can feel it you can uh, see it it's so close that you can taste it okay we have four of pentacles with the fool's embrace so there is something that you guys are still holding back from or holding on to okay and uh you really having to get back to basics when it comes to you what do you want this reset of your life to look like like what aligns with your fundamental values and how can you begin to open up towards those experiences that you now feel are, like more in alignment with you because with two of wands it's mars and aries so this is about you restoring that passion for life again right you restoring um yeah like that internal drive and ambition that you have to be able to progress forward down certain paths maybe even this is just about like the version of yourself that you fully really want to become right how can you unlock your full potential and where may you be holding yourself back from being able to really go after things externally for that to happen right what changes have to happen within you for that to happen okay Let's go ahead and clarify this 10 of wands and see what responsibility you guys are taking on. Some of you even could be a contract with To Be Fair, right? Um, it could be like a new contract that you guys are entering into with Libra Energy. We have Eight of Swords. So some of you are like, you, you're, you're doing it even though you could be uh, like, I don't want to say doubting yourself, but it's almost like mentally, you know that like you're doing it but for some reason like you're still questioning the fact that you're doing it you know some of you are just showing up for yourself every day even if this is just as simple as like getting out of bed in the morning you know it's like you're still doing something you're still moving towards uh, a new beginning that you feel like will bring you that emotional fulfillment and you're on your way there it's almost like you're basically there there's something about having to be present and remind yourself that you're there though it's like you're somewhere now that you want to pray to be but you may not be even like seeing that knight of swords and some of you it's almost like well, what, what do i do when i get there you know it's about spirits almost like teaching you to enjoy the journey if that makes sense nine of cups yeah some of you are almost like living in a frame vibration and spirit wants to take you there there is like some kind of sudden turning point though that is out of your control uh with the wheel of fortune like some kind of vision that you're very passionate to move towards and I feel like you're walking the way and the way is un appearing, right? It, there's something around like not knowing, like not having a full map for where it is that you're going um, or what the journey holds for you. But you have that end goal of like the version of yourself that you want to embody or the things that you want to be able to do. Maybe it's a dream job, maybe it's dream connections of some kind. Uh, we have the seven of wands and the nine of cups as well. So some of you, it's almost like where you may be uh, blocking off your own blessings with the sky writing and the fates. It's almost like there's new things that you cannot change. And there's something about like not being fixated on 
it not happening the way that you plan because you you can make plans during this time from that limited subjective point of view from the human and the universe from the objective point of view will laugh at your plans right so there's something about it's going to happen the way you hope it just may not happen the way you plan so be open to it happening in a way that you may not be able to comprehend you know there's many layers that your guides see that go beyond you and beyond what it is that you can perceive right and with the seven of coins some of you it's like happening and it's almost like there's things happening in dimensions beyond what it is that you can currently perceive and you could be questioning it because it's like you're walking the way and you may not be seeing like the material worlds or you may not be f- like feeling like you have it all now um but the seven of coins is almost like there's no instant gratification but these decisions that you're making to show up for yourself every day um, is leading you towards that end goal right it's almost like you're doing the work where your future self will benefit you and um it's almost like um it's it's like you're attached to that continuum as you continue to reinforce that through action your intention to move down that path and your uh, subconscious intention is kinetic energy and you reinforcing that through action is giving that momentum that the universe needs to be able to cultivate this experience in the higher realms before it is anchored into a third dimensional experience and a lot of you again it's like you're just watching it unfold in real time it doesn't mean that you you can't speed up the button right again it's almost like the universe is uh, wanting you to enjoy the act of watching it unfold in real time almost like look at your life as a movie and know that this is a destined outcome that will take place with nine of cups because again you can see it you can feel it you can taste it it's just not there right in front of you yet it's not yet tangible uh with the six of swords and the four card with the four and the four of pentacles again i feel like some of you you're still holding on to um thoughts that don't serve you with the six of swords you know it's like a sacrificial energy when it comes to releasing even like the opinions of others you know maybe you feel like a lot of people have a lot to say here and it's almost like you're turning your back and focusing on a better tomorrow you know even like a better today and the decisions that you can make now that will restore some kind of passion in your life right this is about getting passionate about your journey about your sense of direction and where is it all going? Let's see if there's any timing that Virgos can look forward to. And we have two two of ones at the base as well, which is Mars and Aries. So you guys are definitely setting yourself on a particular goal during this time, right? Maybe you feel like this aligns with your destiny in some way. We have September. So this could be around your season, Virgos. You know, something may be illuminated to you around your solar return, return okay? We also have six months from now at the base. So maybe this is something that you had started six months ago. Maybe this is something that's finally going to be butt into creation for you guys. But September could be very significant. Let's uh, close out with some kippers. Was that the lovers? Yes, it was. Okay, you're going to feel very privileged with whatever this is. Whether it's a person, whether it's a thing, it's going to be fully in alignment with your values in September. Okay, so Virgos, I wish you guys the very best of luck. I'm going to show you that on the screen as we close out. But if you're not already subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing if you want to stick around for future readings. Uh, I would love to have you here. Uh, personal reading details are also down below. Your weekly readings are also going to be linked down below as well. But until next time, Virgos, I'm going to go ahead and show you this as we head out. So look forward to it, Virgos. I wish you guys the very best of luck until next time. Bye.